Hello and welcome to On the Couch with Eminem. Eminem, obviously, for Maria and Manos. Manos. This is where we go behind the scenes in real estate business ownership to give you great ideas and tips to help you create fun and profitable businesses so that you can live an extraordinary life. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode of On the Couch with Eminem. Today we've got special guest Simon Cryer. Simon Cryer is a marketer, internet entrepreneur, former real estate agent, and now is helping people in the real estate industry with their marketing and getting some really cut through uh, marketing to get the, the now vendors. So really excited to, to have and welcome Simon Cryer. Thanks for having me on the program, guys. Oh, it's great to have you. And it was awesome this morning uh, you presented to the team, which was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I think everybody loved it. You got yes. a standing ovation at the end. So that was uh, like really, really good. That obviously connected with all the different marketing. And you said it really well. You know, everybody's doing the same thing over and over. We'll be doing the just list of the just sold for so many years. It's time to, you know, look at um, connecting with uh, our uh, vendors and our landlords in a different way. And you talked a bit about that so but before we get to all of that tell us a bit about your story how did you get here yeah um, you started real estate when you were 17 right. tell, us, tell us a little bit about your story well I, I started in real estate just before I was 17 I was 15 years old That's right, 15. and uh, my mom, mom and dad uh, separated mm. and it was back in the days where you needed two directors to have a company that's right And on my way to school in the car my dad said you need to be a company director <laughs> and so no stress so yeah, I uh, I was a company director. Throwing me in the deep end. Was that even yeah, legal? Started, yeah, right for a, you know. <laughs> was a, it? Were you, were you legally a director? I, I don't know. It was never challenged in court. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, so I officially got started at selling real estate uh, at fifteen, and then left school. I actually joined the police force for a year, okay. and people said I was too nice to be a police officer. Oh. But uh, I should become a real estate agent. Not that nice that I should become a real estate agent. So I started selling at uh, real estate at uh, 17. Uh, so, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. And you've sold real estate in Sydney, in well, in, almost in, all in, the states. Well, in, in Darwin. And Darwin. then uh, my high school sweetheart moved to Cairns. So then Cairns. I, I started real estate in Cairns and then we moved to the Gold Coast. So sold for a boutique agency so, in Cairns. So how long were you listing? How long were your sales? Oh, yeah. In sales? Um, I've been in sales all my life. Yeah. Um, but uh, really? listing and selling real estate, uh, I would say... Uh, probably, probably the best part of a decade. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what it takes. So you've got the runs under the belt. You know what it takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I know the highs and the lows, the peaks and the valleys, the frustrations and the stress. And uh, yeah, also uh, it's. I think real estate agents are the best group of people that you could hope to hang around because mm. they're most of the time they're upbeat, they're positive, yeah. they love people. The stories, oh man, they've all got a million stories and they're all really cool stories too. Yeah. So I just love the people and particularly guys who, who work within your brand are people who, who care about the results that their clients get and uh, who really are trustworthy people who are just great to hang around. We had so much fun. I've never got, you know, three rounds of applause ever <laughs> at any speaking event or stage. Well, there you go. I told you they liked you. Yeah, yeah. They, they were cool, really well, great fun group of people and I can see that you guys are are very particular about the the mm. caliber of people, not only with their skills but who they are yeah. uh, it's so in here. Isn't and it? so yeah. that's that's uh, I just love that about your brand and the people that get Thank to work you. with you guys. It's uh, well, I love what yeah, you said. Uh, uh, selling is heart to heart. Yeah, mm. so it's authenticity. It's just, uh, authenticity isn't it? is yeah. so it's so true. Mm. So yeah. if you don't have that, then it's yeah. you know. Gone are the days that you can be the, the sleek uh, salesperson with all the, the right lines, scripts and dialogues yeah. and get the cut through anymore. Yeah. Um, people can see right through it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So you've worked with a lot of principals and not just in the real estate industry, but you've worked with other businesses in overseas, in America. Yeah. Um, tell us about the challenges of a business owner uh, and the marketing, because you talked about that this yeah, morning. Yeah, that's that right. That was really good. Well, I think one of the, the coolest books, I, I read a lot um, mm. and just because I need to, because yeah. I need to keep growing. Because I believe if, you, if you're not green and growing, then you're rotting, you're dying. And so I don't think anyone really has ever arrived. And I think the definition... You always learn. Yeah, yeah. the definition of success is progress. And it's learning it's and true. it's growth. Yeah. And so one of the things that I've seen, one of the books I read was The E-Myth by uh, Michael Gerber. And where he talks about, you know, the entrepreneurial myth is that a lot of entrepreneurs think they're entrepreneurs. But the reality is 
they're technicians. We are technicians. You know, mm. they're, they're amazing at what mm. they do, like listing, selling or property management, or they might be amazing at, at HR and that's what they're great at in terms of recruiting people and they're, they're guns at that. But in terms of growing their business holistically yeah. with the expertise and the time availability, because nowadays you have to be a marketing specialist to get cut through. Otherwise, you fall into the trap of just doing what everybody else is doing. And if you do that, uh, Seth Godin in his book, Purple Cow, says you, you're you the can't sea, down. Yeah, in a sea of sameness, you're yeah. invisible. Yeah. So we, we don't want, I don't want my clients to be invisible, no. just playing follow the leader where it's kind of like we were talking in the car last night, Manos, about the book, The Emperor Has No Clothes. And we're talking about what about advertising media? We're talking about the newspaper. It's like most people are advertising the newspaper, not because they've tested and measured it necessarily. But they just do it and they... Because everyone, everyone else does. Yeah, Because that's yeah. what you should do. Yeah. And some of them are still old school yeah. real estate 1990, mm. where it's just like, and they brag about the pages they have in the newspaper. So what? Mm. You know what I mean? So it's it good to... It's so true. It's great to challenge the status quo. And well, to, the, the example that, that you gave this morning about the Ford uh, company dropping uh, the sponsorship yes. from the Australian Open, I think mm. that's so relevant in our space. Mm. Yeah. So if you, can, if you can share that story... Um, yeah. With our audience. Yeah. Well, we looked at um, branding versus direct response marketing. Now, in a perfect world, if you're if you're dealing with someone who knows what they're doing, they are able to give you not only results, you want return on investment. Um, even with social media, you don't want to necessarily just have likes and engagements and shares. You, you want, want to have, know. You want to have return on investment. And you want to know the result. You, yeah. You want yeah, to, to measure yeah. it. So you want to be able to measure that, like how many leads do we get in? And mm. we were sharing with the group, we switched on a campaign within 24 hours for another real estate agent, uh, a salesperson lead agent. And within 24 hours after spending $12.98, we had 10 leads. Yeah. So a buck twenty a lead for yeah. people who said, "I want to have an appraisal." That's pretty awesome, it is. and it's using social media, but it's not about just branding. Like no one's ever thought at the grand final, you know, "Hey, look, AGCs, but we we don't have insurance. We we might be underinsured." You know, they've never thought that, or they've never looked at a bus and said, "Hey, maybe we should be with the Westpac instead of the Commonwealth." You mm. know what I mean? It just doesn't happen like that. And we can get caught up in this branding idea and we can burn a lot of money. Like um, Ford did at the like Australian Ford Open. Did, yeah. They just, couldn't measure yeah, that's right. how many cars did we actually sell. And the yeah. results is yeah. how many cars did, did we sell, sell because of the sponsorship. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then but, Kia but, took it over. But, you know, the marketing manager at Kia should have given the guy at Ford a call and asked a quality why? question. Why did you, why did you drop your sponsorship? That would have been a beautiful... You know, Tony Robbins talks about the direction of our life is determined by the quality of questions we ask. No, so that would have been true. a great quality question to ask. And just to just to network with the the, uh, the marketing executives at, at Ford or whoever yeah. the, the marketing uh, officer is, the mm. executive marketing officer, that would have been cool. There used to be a saying, um, you know, I spent half a million dollars in marketing and advertising. I know half of it works and the other half of that, the other half doesn't, but I don't know which I just half don't know which is. half it is. Yeah. Who said that? Cause oh, look, I don't recall, but it's a great marketing. It is. A, it mm. is it's always been the, the case, but I think things are changing now with social media, uh, we, with, we can measure things better Definitely, now, yeah, can't we? And absolutely. We can, yeah, yeah, so it has changed. Even in old school marketing, I mean, mm. most real estate agents, for example, or agencies, they're not a Ford or a Coca-Cola or a McDonald's. So you don't have the budget. They, yeah, that's right. And yeah. so branding, it's like, well, I understand branding, but you need you don't have the budget, the limitless budget, mm. where you can just get your name out there. Yeah. And so traditional advertising agencies... Um, uh, are threatened by people who do what I do because when you go to an advertising agency, the first thing's like, hey, we've got to get your brand out there. We've got to get your name out there. And that's okay if you've got a limitless budget, but if you're a small, medium enterprise, you need to be showing return on investment, return 100%. on and spend. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're measuring and testing that's everything it. we do. So we did a, a bit of a funny example, which was a live example of um, a before and after radio campaign. And just to see the looks on your staff's face. That was which, brilliant. Yeah. Which was, and you could see the contrast before we had a branding ad, with, which, which was full of what I call motherhood statements, like mm. the best service mm. and, you know, and there was all this other nonsense in there, but it wasn't. Which, which falls back to <coughs> Seth Godin's The Sea of Sameness. Exactly. Everyone we're else is saying. saying yeah. We're all saying we're the best. We're highest the best price, agents, highest shortest price, possible time. Uh, minimum stress. Record breaking. Right. Yeah. 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 So and we you, have buyers waiting. No cut yeah, we have buyers waiting. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, you tweak that and you put a call to action and uh, a testimonial there, so social proof. Yeah. 
and the results were phenomenal within two months. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, correct. So we we didn't have any um, we didn't have any visuals on that particular radio campaign. So we couldn't evaluate whether radio was a good advertising mm. uh, channel for this particular brand. So I rewrote the ad. We put a, a direct response promotional piece behind the ad. We put a testimony there to create social action. proof. And a call to action, absolutely. Mm. So, yeah, within two months, we generated $38,000 worth of annualized property management fees and thirty-eight, oh, sorry, and $30,000 worth of uh, commissions. Sales. Yeah, GCI. Nice. So that was... That was pretty cool, yeah. In two months, yeah. In yeah. two months, yeah. So there's been about the... a five thousand dollar investment. That's yeah. right, yeah. So yeah, it was, to the advertisers. It was pretty compelling. So the so... principal will keep going with that for sure. Well, now they've got visuals, yeah, <laughs> and they know that it yeah. is because yeah. they can measure it. Yeah. So they got that. What well, one of the things we didn't talk about was the asset value of the property management, which is like probably about a hundred thousand dollars in in asset value created mm. in the space of two months, and that's why. You know, real estate can be a, a beautiful business to, to be in and a very smart move strategically for people who are who are looking to build something which is which is a real asset base yeah. that they can transfer, sell, build up, whatever, realise. And, uh, yeah, it's just fun because you get to connect with people and, yeah. and help navigate through an emotional minefield of stuff but also deliver really resu- really cool results uh, through cut, cut through uh, campaigns, campaigns and positioning. Yeah, mm. so, yeah, it's good. Very yeah, awesome. good. And uh, so if, if people wanted to get in contact with you, Simon, how would they be able to get in contact with you? That's a great question. <laughs> Most of my business comes through referral or word of mouth marketing. Yeah. I've either been referred to. So it's it's weird. I'm a bit like the plumber who has the leaking tap or the builder who's not quite finished off their own their own house. So And I like it that way. Um, the way that uh, we do our business is we don't we offer a 12-month program, but it's a done-for-you program. And there's some great trainers out there in the industry. There's probably about, I would say, probably about four really awesome trainers out there. Um, the thing is they offer courses and it's like, here's the CDs, here, here's my event, come along and we'll tell you what to do and off you go, go implement. There's no time. Well, what I found is that most, no most realtors as technicians are really great at listing and selling. That's what they get paid to do for mm. prospect listing, selling, vendor management. They don't have time to implement or they don't have the expertise and so, you know, my own my own family who are involved in real estate, my brother in Perth is a commercial property manager and my brother in Tasmania um, has a real estate boutique agency yeah. that uh, I consult to as well. Yeah. And so, you know, he went to, he's gone to several because he's really committed to personal and professional development and he's bought, you know, literally, literally hundreds of CDs and DVDs. So I asked the quality question, how many of these have you actually listened to? The answer, surprise, surprise, zero. And so, uh, and that's just that's just Dang the challenge. That's so, the nature of yeah. this industry. We are we are here. Yeah. Uh, when we rock up to work, our number one focus is to get new listings. Yeah. That's what our focus yeah. is: sales, sales, sales. And you're wearing, and also as business owners, we're wearing so many hats. Yeah. How do you go in, uh, implement? And you know, yeah. The power in an idea is always in, in its implementation. implementation so, yeah. Yeah. so that's, that's why where we do what we do. Yes. And we take away a lot of the back end administration yeah. and all the, the things yeah. that. Yeah. You know, way um, down principles, down principles and real estate yeah. salespeople, so they don't have to worry about any of that. And they can value focus prop. on listing and selling. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and you do that with marketing, which yeah, is definitely. awesome. So the challenge for me personally as a business model is the scalability. Mm. I don't care about that. Mm. Uh, I, I don't care if we're making three, four million dollars a year. I'm happy to, to know that. I can roll my sleeves up. You're helping up. enough people to make a difference. Yeah, we can link life. arms, and my my game is a long term. Mm. It's a long term play. So my strategy is more of a long play, meaning I'm happy to do work in organisations with with principals, and that's why I like the word of mouth model because it's like it's like that birds of a feather. People mm. who resonate at a particular yep. level. It's just like, yep. you guys are good people. You'll lead me to good people if I can demonstrate results and add value to you. So I don't want to be qualifying a whole bunch of people I really shouldn't be talking to. You know, particularly at the price point, I'm mindful that that's going to, if it's too cheap, I'm going to get problem clients who are never going to take action, who don't really have ownership. So I've that's, got to be careful with my price point. That's well said, comment. and it's with everything in sales. You right, know, yeah. It's a good uh, lesson to, to everybody. If it's to, free, to be working like no that. one values it. No yeah. one owns it, yeah. yeah no one and owns so it. If, no, yeah. if there's no ownership, there's no results. And if yeah. there's no results, then there's, that puts my brand in, in a, you know, a problematic state. So, yeah. yeah, most people who get in contact with me sort of know me through guys like yourself or awesome. through them on Facebook well, community. We'll put your details or, on yeah, the bottom of this video. So yeah, that'd be great. people can get in contact yeah, with you. They can you email and, me. They can yeah. Yeah, get in awesome. touch on Facebook. Awesome. Or give me a call. That'd be fine.
Yeah, any last, uh, any advice to principals that are listening, business owners or salespeople that want to, uh, you know, lift their sales or not even double, but actually just take, take their business the next to level. the next level. Yeah, yeah. I think um, success is an inside job. Mm-hmm. And so I think you need to be thinking differently. You need to be asking better quality questions. You need to be evaluating things and asking yourself is this the best use of my time and focus on not being busy but being productive yeah and if you do that for yourself that sets you up in a mindset to look at the different direct mail that you're putting out there the phone calls that you have the, the social media posts it's like is this am i getting the best return on this activity on this mail piece for example one of my clients in real estate we have uh, um when i do a marketing audit it's like Tell me the highest, because I've, I've studied internet marketing, as, as you said in the mm. intro, spent you know uh, probably about half a million dollars of my own personal and professional development over my career, um, and you know traveled overseas, lived overseas in the US, consulted to you know bigger companies like $200 million NASDAQ public companies, yeah. that's where I got started and cut my yeah. teeth, and then coming back to my passion, which is, is real, real estate, because uh, I just love it, I love the people in it too. And it's just different from corporate America, for example. They're real people mm. and they're small, medium enterprise. They're not choked up by massive boards of directors and, you know, uh, senior executive officers and all that sort of yeah. nonsense, which uh, is at the expense of a company being nimble and able yeah. to make decisions quickly and implement. Because implementation and execution is everything. everything. And so, you know, by having that mindset of evaluating the best use of your time, you know, through structuring your diary and making sure you've got consistency and prospecting. Also take that same mindset and use it as a ruler for all your marketing, advertising and promotion activities and look at the return on investment. And if you need help, get it from someone who's qualified, not yeah. necessarily the, the, the 23 year old advertising agency representative, representative that, never with ran, black... that never ran their own business before <coughs> or yeah. Right. They've just heard about mm. it and the, all their stuff that they're like, and I studied marketing at mm. university as well. And you, you, you study case studies like Coca-Cola and, yes. and yeah. Nestle. And it's just like, they're big brands with unlimited, budgets. unlimited disposable budgets. Mm. They have to spend, otherwise they're not going to get it in the budget next year. Yeah. So they don't really care. Yeah. They just want to get their name out there. Yeah. But uh, it's a different case. So, yeah, you need to talk to someone who's a specialist uh, who does something that's different and not different in an idiotic way because we, we kind of showcase what that could look like without a professional approach, yes. meaning we've got a compelling offer, an amazing headline, some great content. You've got some social proof, a testimony to validate it because people don't believe you, but it's third-party validation, which yeah. is great. Then a call to offer. Then a call to action. A call to action, yeah. yeah. So if you can get that in the context of the brand, that's that's beautiful. Mm. But you need to talk to someone who understands that, unfortunately. And get it done professionally. Yeah, yeah. 95% of people fail and they, they yeah. miss it. They try and do it themselves and it's just, you saw what that looked like. Just like that um, yeah. ad that you played there. Yeah, we yeah. can't mention the brand. No, you know, we can't. Oh, we know who it is. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, But, you know, good fun, hey? Yeah, to say it is good hey, fun. And, and the and contrast between you. before and, and after. And good on them for giving but it a go, the, anyway. Yeah, and yeah. isn't the beauty of that our industry that we can all share? Oh, yeah, at the end I love of the it. day, learn we'll look from at each other. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. No, excellent. And what I like, you know, when I get around different agencies, uh, it's it's sort of like um, as as a coach or as a as a marketing professional, uh, as a when I do the coaching and we look at what they're doing, they're learning from me because I'm I'm growth hacking. I'm looking at what's best practice in the industry, what's getting cut through. How can we model it, not copy it, but yeah. how can we model it so that it's in keeping with your brand. So there'd be different promotions out there for a more down-to-earth brand, which may not suit um, uh, the branding of, let's say, an elite agent selling prestige properties, right? In a city. There'd be mm. different offers there, mm. which wouldn't be the right messaging. So you've got to have the right uh, message to market match so that it's in keeping with the brand of who you are and what you do and who your market is that you're serving. So there needs to be a little bit of it's nuance. It's got to be aligned to the individual as well. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah. And, I, and I think that's where we've um, we've seen a massive difference when, when our own agents take on their own brand in their own marketplace with our YBYB model is, um, you know, it it resonates with them. You know, they it's uh, authentic mm. um, and then get themselves and out there. And they connect there, with their target and they audience. And connect, they connect yeah. with, their, with their people. Yeah. So yeah. it's very important to yeah, be absolutely. Yeah, authentic. Absolutely. Mm. 
Thank awesome. you so much thank you. for joining us. Oh, you're welcome, guys. It was a pleasure. I hope I've been able to add some value. No, excellent. Some, some love having content. you to yeah. this morning with the team. And um, you have provided value to the listeners. And yeah, great. we'll put all your details, details down below. Yeah, if you've got fun. any questions, as always, feel free to uh, make comment on our Facebook page and we'll get in there and answer any questions. And we'll keep you in, we'll yeah, keep put you in, you, involved, yeah. we'll put you in touch with, um, with Simon, Simon as well. Yeah, awesome. And feel free to share the post with someone else that you may think uh, may uh, get some value out of it. Thank you guys and see you at the next episode. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.